Good morning. Pulling out of this respiratory thing, guys. I'm about 70%. Greg is still feeling <coughs> pretty, pretty rough, so please do continue to lift us up and uh, pray for our healing. We can feel it working, and we just thank you so very much, guys. So, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes, a little bit of everything. We're going to talk about squash bugs this morning. So, if you've been following us a while, you know that uh, us and our community struggle with squash bugs every year. But one thing that we did last year that helped us with the squash bugs. So, before I get into that, I already do have squash and zucchini in the ground in this big high tunnel. And I have it in the little high tunnel. And why do we have it already going now? Because I'm fixing to tell you one of our remedies is because we want to get an early harvest of squash and zucchini for our customers here. We do sell um, our veggies locally to our local community here. And uh, so it's very important that we go ahead and get some squash and zucchini going now because I'm telling you that usually around mid-May to 1st of July, mid-July, that's really squash and zucchini season here in Texas. People buy it up, they want it, they eat it, but then they get their fill. And as the summer goes on, they're pretty much done with it, but we're not. Um, so we want to go ahead and get some ready for our market garden and our, um, our farmer's markets that we're gonna be attending um, now so that we will get a jump on it. We're hoping that we're gonna have um, also some tomatoes. They're coming in really good and uh, cucumbers and we really want to get a jump start. But what else am I doing today? Let me show you what we're doing to head off squash bug season for when they take over your plants and you're really wanting to extend your growing season and continue to harvest through the summer months. You go ahead and you start more seed, guys. So uh, I started these about seven days ago and because of our warm weather, they germinated rather quickly and I've gone ahead and put them in uh, their little three inch pot. And I've started more zucchini and uh, some Casper pumpkins and some honey rock melons. So if you're in Texas guys or in the Southern states, guess what, you can grow squash probably six to seven months out of the year. So we've already started, they've been in the ground up there for probably about a month. They've been in the ground back here at least two weeks, if not longer got those transferred and started some more seeds today so today is april the 24th so we're looking at may 24th june july august we can get squash all the way into september and probably the first of october here in texas because we really stay warm um at least until past halloween and usually even past that there have been times when we've had freezes um close to halloween but it's few and far between and this year um, initially they were saying it was going to be hot, just as hot as last year, maybe a little hotter. I'm just not on board that yet because we are very mild. We were 44 degrees uh, today here in Texas and our high is expected to be around 65 to 68. And our normal high is 78 degrees. We expect a very mild week, but we do expect some uh, severe weather tomorrow and mainly Wednesday. So those of you in Texas and around us, please keep an eye on the sky and uh, pray for our protection. So that is one of my solutions to squash bugs. Now you can use seven dice um, and some other remedies, but I'm telling you guys, once squash bugs come on board, man, they're on board. So what you'll need to do is go ahead, if you've already got them in the ground, get your harvest in, pull those plants up, get your soil ready and turn right back around and replant. So if I were you here in Texas or any of the other Southern states where you can get a double harvest of these things, I would go right in behind right now and start some more seeds so that you'll be ready. And I'll keep doing this, guys, so I'll have seeds to go into the ground uh, probably the end of May. I want some good plants. But uh, you can see over here, I have some beautiful squash plants here. Um, I have some beautiful cucumber plants. And uh, here are some more zucchinis that I got transplanted. We're going to keep this going. We're going to keep this going. Um, but again, just know that if you're selling, um, the market here in Texas for squash and zucchini is usually over around the 1st of July. People are done with it. And uh, I guess that's why they call it summer squash. Zucchini may last a little bit longer because people like to make the zucchini noodles and uh, zucchini bread. And we had squash and zucchini all the way into August last year. And we're gonna try a little bit longer because it's very important 
that uh, we have our food rotating in and out. So guys, keep that in mind when you're planting, um, especially if you're in the south, rotate that food in and out. Don't stop starting your seeds now. And if you're looking for seeds, go to Survival Garden Seed. They have just done fantastic for us. I'll put the link below, but uh, don't stop. Don't stop that planting, guys. Rotate, 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 and keep on going. So that is your video for today. Thank you for your prayers, guys. We love you. Um, God bless you. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, keep us in your prayers about that weather and keep your eye out. And I'll be uh, staying in touch with you guys. See you soon.